Now having the devices created, the next step is to set the rules that govern the operation of these two devices. From devices, the next step is to go to rules. So let's select rules and create a new rule. Let's look at the manual for some guidance. The Arctic rules engine is very similar to if this, then that, AKA IFTI, but it's way more powerful. The first thing is to select Arctic Cloud Switch, which is what is going to be our control. And we're going to monitor the state. And if the state is true, then we're going to set an action. And that action will go towards the Arctic light. And when that state is true, we're going to set the light on. Just clicking the box here sets up a a primary description of what the rule is. Send set on to Arctic Cloud Light when Arctic Cloud Switch state is true. Let's go ahead and save this rule. We have just created our first rule. And you could also test this rule once you have the program running on the module. But let's go ahead and set the converse rule. That is, when the Arctic cloud switch state is set to false, then the Arctic cloud light is set off. So the description of the rule pops up as soon as you click on the box. And that description very efficiently captures the, the rule. Let's save this rule. We have our two rules to play with. Now let's go back to our party session and execute programs that would enable us to run the experiment. So the first step is to run Arctic Cloud Light WebSocket. and also provide the configuration file that captures the device IDs and device tokens for the light and switch that were created, and also the module type, which is Arctic 710. And a quick reminder, this captures the GPIO mapping to the interposer board. Let's run it in the background. Since we already have the light program running, let's go to Arctic Cloud and test our rules. To begin with, I'm going to test the light turning on. So if I hit the test button, allow to send actions, the light turns on. So even without pressing the switch or executing a command on the PuTTY terminal via the web, I can turn the light on. Let's see if we can do the same to turn it off. For this, we're going to test our send off rule to the board. Testing the rule and sending the actions. And as expected, the light turns off. Action successfully delivered to the device. So you have right now effectively been able to control a device via Arctic Cloud. Let's complete the loop and turn on Arctic Cloud Switch. 
and using REST APIs, we're going to be able to control. So let's turn on the switch. The light should come on. The same thing can be observed on the PuTTY terminal where it says toggle LED called one, sending state to ACK, meaning Arctic cloud. And if we press the button again, light turns off and the PuTTY terminal displays received action is set off, toggle LED called zero. Uh, 